My name is Leah Rohde, and we are here at Crimson, which is a luxury apartment building in the River Oaks Shopping District. And they have um, a penthouse gallery. And this is my first solo show. I'm super excited to be having my first solo show, and it's called Artist Spotlight. And Gabby Monoroso and I worked together to select pieces for this show that we felt really worked with this space, but also really represent the years of my emerging work and um, the time that I have sort of invested in developing my own visual language. I think my favorite piece is probably the one called Bondage because so much of my work is about in the wild. And I'm fascinated by the idea that people seek bondage, which is a restriction or a limitation in order to have more wilderness or freedom. You know, much of my work is, in, is inspired by my time in, in the wilderness. And often in the wilderness, there are a lot of restrictions. And yet, in the wilderness, you feel the most free. The sublime is what gives us um, the most release in a way, right? The biggest sense of peace. Um, and I think, I think I'm always seeking that even when I'm not in the wilderness. The mental wild is a place that as we all seek enlightenment, that's really what we're, we're, we're looking for, right? Is this expansiveness and this sense of peace where I'm trying to find that sublime. What's, uh, tell me about the piece behind you. So the piece behind me, the triptych, um, it's called Finding the Ways. Started out as sort of just an experiment and hey, let's see what truly monumental feels like. But when you get this large, you can't see, you cannot take in the whole composition while you're working. And when you work monu this large monumentally, you have to let that go because you can't see it. And what I realized is it really allowed me to pursue narrative in a way I'd never had because it's very physical, right? I'm, I'm working back and forth across 18 linear feet and I find myself in that movement, it becomes naturally a story. So the sketches on the back, they're concept sketches. So about a third of the way through the painting, I realized I was caught up on some issues. And I historically get really frustrated because I can't find the sketches that go with the painting. So I decided I'm just gonna flip around one of the canvases and do the sketches on the back because I somehow felt comforted that the sketches would always live with the painting. Like in an archival sense, they would always be together. So I created nine sketches that, that were sort of like historical experiences. Some really tough things that I wanted to record. When I finished it, I stood back and I realized I sort of liked them better than the, than the front. Um, but there's obviously the sense that they go together, right? It's just, I, it's almost kind of like when you're making notes in the margin. I just stepped aside and sort of made some, I worked out some notes and now I needed to fold them back into the paragraph. And I decided that that's really what was going on. This was, a, this was a narrative, this was a huge story about these different experiences that were in these nine little windows. And so I flipped it around and I projected the image of those sketches onto various places in the canvas where I had been working on those pieces of the story. And so in this very graffiti-like line work, you can see those sketches that were on the back have been woven into the narrative. And so that's why it's called Finding the Ways because it's really a story about weaving through and finding your way around these enormous obstacles I think these pieces are sort of almost a summary of my emerging work, my emergence as an artist, my emergence as a creative. Um, I think most of these pieces 
are tying together, mm -hmm. finding my own visual language um, in abstraction. All of these pieces have to do with my training myself in a way to mimic the immersive nature experience. So I always say when I'm in front of the canvas, it's much like being on the trail. I can stand in front of the easel in front of a fixed dimension canvas, but the world that I'm pursuing that's going to be painted onto that canvas is infinite. And I'm pursuing a, a limitless vastness either through mindscape slash landscape slash abstraction that, you know, it, it's, it's sort of like, am I, am I capturing a moment or am I really just looking through a window? I don't know. Oh yeah, I like that. You know?